Hello everyone. Today we have a new job. It's a Lenovo ThinkPad. This laptop came uh, from a uh, local computer shop. So as per the uh, technician, he said that uh, whenever he turns on the laptop, the laptop won't turn on. But sometimes it will boot up. Actually, the laptop is turning on, but uh, it won't boot up. Yeah. So uh, uh, whenever he moves the hard drives, the hard drive it will boot up normally. Even though he tried to replace the hard drive, but it didn't work. Uh, so what I'm trying to do right now, as you can see, the laptop is not turning on. Uh, I'm gonna remove the hard drive. Let me open the laptop first. So the cover is out. First of all, removing the battery, of course. And here, as you can see here, we have the hard drive. Pulling up the hard drive. Oh yeah, so the hard drive is the NVMe with the converter and then to a uh, flat uh, connector the board well as customer here he replaced the hard drive but uh, the problem didn't get solved could be a problem in the uh, BIOS or laptop uh, or the board itself let me I'm gonna try it one more time of course plugged in the battery turning on the laptop Let's wait and see if the laptop will turn on. Maybe... Wait... Uh, I, yeah, the bias battery is on. I thought it was resetted. No, it's on. It's okay. Why the laptop didn't turn on then? Maybe the battery is uh, drained? everything is connected everything is good yeah no problem of course trying to boot up let me plug in the charger it's a square head finding the power supply is to 19 volts here's my uh, oh yeah the laptop is on it took some time but after all the laptop is on could it be a bias issue I don't know there might be something on the board itself so the laptop did turn on and uh, give me the uh, Lenovo logo that means the BIOS is okay it's loading let me see from the other side getting a better view so what might be the problem let me check the connector wait what? the connector just came out how can it be okay I'm gonna check the flat connector for the hard drive let me zoom in a little bit as maybe you can see it so the problem might be the uh, connector that is uh, getting loose let's see if I, if I can uh, just resolder this connector by lifting up the uh, board a little bit 
No, I have to remove it. I have to remove it. Yeah, no problem. So let me remove the board and I'll get back. So the board is out. And let's see now. So the connector, as you can see, it's totally out. You see, on the border of this uh, connector, the uh, the solder is still intact, but the connector itself uh, got loose. Let me solder it. Uh, after reinstalling or re-soldering the uh, connector let me put back the board and uh, try to turn on the laptop again connecting con couple of connectors and here we have the hard drive again connecting the hard drive I don't know what caused this issue to happen but it's it is of course a brute force that made the connector get loose connector is soldered to get loose yeah connecting battery and uh, let's try it turning on the laptop with the laptop yeah the laptop is turning on faster than before and it's loading the windows that's good now after reassembling the whole board the whole laptop now charging putting uh, putting on the charger let's see if the laptop is charging maybe the battery is charged that's why it's not taking charge yeah now it's the laptop is booting it looks promising yeah the load the load the the laptop is loading the laptop is loading it's booting up that's good the laptop is turned on so it seems that our issue is only the hard drive connector yeah so the windows is loaded uh, I think that is it uh, the play problem is the uh, hard drive connector sometimes it's taking data sometimes it's not but anyway it worked I will say uh, thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and I will see you on another job bye